born in Old Hickory, Tennessee, Norma Jean Pope Owen, married her high school sweetheart, Howard, right after graduation. Norma Jean began her career in music in 1965 as receptionist at Columbia Recording Studios, where she worked with legendary producers Don Law, Frank Jones, and Billy Sherrill, as well as stellar recording artists like Johnny Cash, Connie Smith, Marty Robbins, Barbara Mandrell, Tanya Tucker, Tammy Wynette, and George Jones, to name a few. She left Columbia Recording Studio to have her son, Chad, but later returned to work at Capitol Records, where she worked again with Frank Jones, then the head of Capitol Records Nashville office, and later with Lynn Schultz. During her tenure at Capitol Records, she rose from receptionist to manager of A&R administration, working with artists such as Marie Osmond, Ann Murray, Dan Sills, Kix Brooks, Tanya Tucker, and Garth Brooks. She left Capitol Records and became the office manager for the entertainment group, working with Greg Janice and Mark Oswald, retiring in 1991. Norma Jean, someone has a special message for you. Hey, Norma Jean, Marie here. And I just wanted to say a big congratulations to you on your induction into the Source Hall of Fame. So cool. Hey, I know that our friends Dan Seals and Lynn Schultz are looking down right now and saying congratulations too. I'd also like to thank all the women of Source for the hard work that you do to make sure that talented women behind the music in Nashville entertainment industry are recognized and memorialized in your Source Hall of Fame gallery at the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum. You know, I just have a fun night tonight. I wish that I could be there with you, uh, but just know that I send my love. Congrats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage 2022 Source Hall of Fame Award inductee, Norma Jean Owen. Hello, everyone. Good to see everyone. Hello. <laughs> First, I would like to thank the awards committee members and all of the members of Source for what they do, supporting women in the entertainment industry. I would like to give a special thanks to co-chairs Erica and Cherry and my dear friend Kay Smith. I would like to thank my cousin, Margaret Merrill, for coming all the way from Illinois to be with me tonight. Also, uh, Friends at my table, Judy Ray, I work with at Columbia Records, and also Capitol Records. I think that was Columbia Studios at the time. But anyway, uh, also, Arita Stampley, I work with at Columbia Records, and Susan Turner, I work with at Capitol Records. And my son, Chad, that's here with me tonight. I would like to share with you my first day at Columbia Records. I arrived that morning, walked up the walk, going into the studio and noticed a young, handsome man that was behind me. He rushed to open the door for me and I thought, what a gentleman. Well, that young man turned out to be Chris Christopherson. And <laughs> it was Chris's first day at Columbia also. I walked into the lobby and there stood Carl Smith and Golda Hill, two of the biggest recording artists at that time. <clears throat> Probably some of you don't know who that is, but <laughs> they were at that time. We do. Uh, <laughs> you do. Polly Roper greeted me <clears throat> and introduced me to all the employees. There were three girls working there at the time. They were Polly Roper, which is now Polly Eddington, Margaret Wright, Judy Laird, and I was the fourth to be hired at Columbia Studios. Polly took me through the, a long hall outside the building, down steps where we went into the Studio B, which is known to most as the Quonset Hut. 
I walked down the steps and into the studio, and musicians started playing the stripper. Well, I had lived a very sheltered life, and I thought to myself, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? By the way, the musicians were the Nashville A-Team, the best musicians ever, in my opinion. They played four sessions a day, usually. I learned to think the world of these guys, though, and everyone that I worked with at Columbia Studios and the music business in general that I knew. They were a great group of people, and I made so many friends, which I still have some today, and I wouldn't take anything for that, but I would like to thank, I would like to take any, I wouldn't take anything, I'm sorry, for the time that I spent working in the music business. Thank you.